right, Shalom, Shalom. First things first, I'm going to give honor and praise unto Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Makak Wadash. We say Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai, Barakat the Yahweh, Barakat the Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Makak Wadash. We give double honors to our apostle elders, which are the apostle elders of Great Millstone, which feed us with knowledge, wisdom, and understanding through the Spirit and the power of Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai. I started out with that clip. I wanted to, you know, I'm, I'm not going to play it again because, you know, I don't want to had it strike me, you know. But uh, that clip right there says a lot because it was, um, I think it was a mountain lion or a snow cat hunting a goat. All right. And I noticed it when I was watching the video again that it was a snow cat hunting a goat, which is spiritual because Yahweh Shah is known as what? The lion of the tribe of Judah, man. All right. And then, you know, Esau is known as what? The goats. He said he's going to separate the sheep from the goats. All right. Because two thirds of Israel, which you Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans, you will be separated from the from salvation, man. All right. Because guess what? You've been separated from Yahweh Shah now, which is salvation. So that's why you got to get him now in the spirit so you can get him in the car, in the in the, in the physical, because that's what's going to take place. Yahweh Shah is going to take the elect and join them unto him. And, and we're going to, and Lord willing, we be a part of that number. We all are hoping, man, to be changed like unto him, unto his glorious body. We're not just waiting for salvation now. We're waiting for the change, man. That's the big thing. It's not salvation because guess what? We get salvation without the change. We're going to be right back in the same position. So our mindset is to do what? We're not just waiting on the salvation of Yahbashim Yahshua. We're waiting. The salvation comes with change. Not just being taken out of Babylon and being taken to the to the to the land of Israel, all right, the land of Israel. Because guess what? We lost it when we went in there, without the changing of bodies, because the Lord cannot bear that wickedness, man. So we will not be able to go into that kingdom and enjoy that kingdom without the changing of our bodies, man. The changing of the time, the changing of the world, the planet Earth, the changing of rulership, man. That's what we're in to waiting for. We're not just waiting for the salvation. We're waiting for the Lord to change our vile bodies and to establish the nation of Israel on the planet Earth forever. We're not looking to lose this blessing anymore. We've learned the we've learned the uh, the the root. Just like these animals learn intelligence, man. We're the most intelligent. With the Lord, the Lord say what? Thou my son. He said to Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Shah was what in the flesh. So, so there's men that could be on the sun. He said, what? David was a man after the Lord's own heart. Abraham was called the, the friend of the most high, man. That's the, the level that comes in this, this flesh, which we don't understand because the Lord even said it. He made the creature subject unto vanity. So this is the most high's will and plan. We won't know it till he lets us know it. And hey, that's, that's just in his power, man. All right. And it says, let's start here. Let's start with the precept. The title of this, the wicked shall become prey because you've seen that, that, that snow cat. He didn't care. He hunted that, that, that goat until he, he didn't, he uh, willing to risk hair and hide. And that's just for him to eat. The Lord is coming back for vengeance. Vengeance is something you will look just like the, the men that, that did a death oath that they were going to kill. They would, they would not eat until they killed the apostle Paul, man. So that's the type of vigor and the hatred the men can have man but the lord is saying that this is indignation which is righteous anger so he's coming at esau and that animal is just a mirroring because you got to go to the slugger thou ant thou, you got to go to the ant thou slugger it's like you you got to go to the slugger thou you got to go to the ant thou slugger man you got to see the nature speaks and leaves traces of the of yaba shimmy of, of spirit so the same way that 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 bobcat or snowcat did not give a damn. It was all uh, it was all concentrated on that prey. <clears throat> what you need, what you um, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you have become prey. Salaki, my my throat this weekend, man. It's a beautiful time this weekend. Call hello, Got to see some brothers, man. It's a beautiful time, man. So. That's right there. Show you the kingdom is coming because the kingdom of heaven is within us. So when we dwell together in unity, that's the kingdom of heaven being on the planet Earth, man. So the kingdom of heaven is, is, is being transferred onto the planet Earth through this truth because we are the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of heaven dwelleth within you. It's in us. All right. This is the book of Zephaniah. Three and verse eight. This is the main scripture right here. 
Zephaniah 3 and verse 8. Because we got to wait on this, man. We got to, the Lord is going to turn the wicked to a prey, man. All right? He's going to turn it to an absolute prey. There's not going to be nothing to deliver. Just like the Lord said, he's going to be as a lion over the prey. Who can shoo him off? So when the Lord, right now is the calm before the storm. But guess what? When the Yahweh Shem Yashah gets that go ahead, he's going to be on Esau's ass, man. Ain't going to give him no breaks. It says as he fled from a lion and a bear met him. He fled from the bear and he leaned his hand on the wall and the serpent bit. It's going to be calamity. The Lord is going to turn Esau to a prey. And that's how the Lord prays on, just like you see the, the different catastrophes that happen. The random death things that take place. Trees falling on people. Uh, 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 people getting uh, uh, falling off, built. I mean, all types of stuff, man. We can go on and on. Like they said, there's a million ways out there, man. And more than that. The Lord, that's only on the, the planetary that's on you only. There's a million ways on earth. Imagine in, in space and different things that the Lord has, man. You know, the architect of death, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> yeah, Yabba Shem Yasha is the architect of death, man. He made, he, he, he put, you know, he put that out there and, and, and showed. That's why his name was Alashajah, man. Demon like power because he was established in the Lord knows everything good and evil and is in the angels do the same man they know but it says what therefore wait ye upon me and that's what we're doing we're waiting we're not out here to do to go above the measure of, of the lord man because we can't do nothing to esau <laughs> there's nothing that we can do to esau that's gonna need to be done man it has to be a heavenly because it was heavenly that he ruling right now so it's gonna be a heavenly uh uh event for him not to be ruling man that's what you're going to see. The Lord is going to take this man out of power and he's going to establish the Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans, but he's going to make the world fear just like he did the Pharaoh. So he could just puff himself up and, 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 and show the world how powerful he is. And it wasn't that was nothing, man. They were they were, man, compared to what is today, they were sticks and stones, man. They were riding in chariot wheels and the Lord just knocked the wheels off and just it was nothing to the most high, man. So the same thing we're saying now is going to be nothing to the Lord to jack up. There's no, oh, Esau got some jets now. That's going to be as easy as Egypt was. He, gonna take the, he can take the fuel lodge cells. The, the chariots can unhook engine parts and manipulate elements. So it's going to be easy work, man. Therefore, wait ye upon me, saith the Lord, until, I, until the day that I rise to the prey. What's the prey? You Edomites, man. You're not, you're not. You're not set up to be some big bad. No, if you realize what you've been, what's happened to you, 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 you were under the greatest of greatest of 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 of, of okie dokes, man. You've been thoroughly used and abused, man. You set up all this just to bring the Israelites back to the heavenly Father. That's all you did. That's all your oppression was was to serve the Lord's will. Because guess what? How did we find? How did we think to call upon our power? Because of your oppression, dummy. Your oppression is what brought us closer to the Heavenly Father. So your in your in your in your um deep think tanks to try to, to take away us from our father and, and put hell on us, you brought your end that even closer because of uh you dealing with Jakes like that, man. The Lord hurried it up, the oppression. And then turned around, you brought us back to the Heavenly Father to ask the question that there's something else. Because you made the society that damn wicked, man. Because you couldn't hide your wickedness. The wickedness of Esau is bare. That's why he says he's going to uncover his foreskin, man. He's going to show the world a shame. What's a shame? is wickedness, man. Because the world is wicked. So why are they going to be, oh, look at that. No, they're wicked. And the shame that the Lord is going to show is all their back dirt. All the, the, the sneaking, the conniving. That's why they say they chase them as they do a thief. That's what you see. The Lord is, is literally making the world look like, yeah, this man is the devil. He's the reason for the oppression. He's the reason for the for the for the uh uh the world's problems and woes and lamentations. And you know, he's if you break down the core issues of the planet Earth, guess who's gonna be there? 
you can take a wild guess. I'm not going to tell you. All right, this is Zephaniah 3 and verse 8, and it says, Therefore, wait ye upon me, saith the Lord, until I rise to the prey for my determination. All right, let's look up the word prey. Booty, spoil. I looked that up already. So Esau is nothing but spoil, man. You're nothing but but commerce and 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 and, and a possession, man. That's the, that's a hell of a that's a hell of a life to be promised, man. But it does, does say if the Lord, the word there for pray, the uh, root word is what, um, perpetuate. It says forever, continuing, future. Ancient, forever, of future times. Let's see what this word is. We look up words, man. Let's see here. What's the door here? Perpetuity. Perpetuity. It says what? To bound on a, a to a bound or a, or other security with no fixed maturity date. A re resurrection making an estate inalienable perpetually or for a period beyond certain time certain time limits. But the main thing is what you see the bound and it's a security with no flat fixed maturity date. All right. And it says what a perpetual type of annuity that lasts for uh, forever into. Uh, let me see, that's not enough. That's an insurance. Let's see this Bible. Let's do that. It says thus they utilize the word perpetuary from the Latin perpetuum, biblical phrase used when referring to God's eternal continuance. Damn. So the Lord, the Heavenly Father is continuing, man. There's no stopping. It's a, we're continuing. The Lord made immortals. He's already immortal. He gave the keys to immortality, which is coming through the words and statues and life and understanding that, which is Yahweh Shah started with that. Then that's going to translate unto the rest of you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. And you're going to become the gods that the Lord promised. But we're not having, the promise hasn't been fulfilled yet. We haven't been sitting. We're not sitting on thrones judging the 12 tribes of Israel and the nations. We're not doing those things, man. So we're waiting on that time. We're waiting on that. that that's why it says the remain at the rest. And our rest ain't talking about sleeping. Our rest is talking about not going through the hell that we went through, man. That we're still being put under by the ways of what? Supposed uh, climate control, uh, overpopulation. All these things are nothing that's, but to put you back in a form of uh, uh, of slavery, of, of literally being under your enemy in, a, in, in the wholeness of it. That means you ain't have no privacy. They monitor you. They that's what he wants, man. He wants to play the most high. He's pretending, just like a kid. We'll put on a cloak and he'll pretend that he's flying around like Superman. That's what Esau's doing right now. He's nowhere close to the most high, man. There's no that you can't be. There's no you can't Esau can't even get out the Van Island belt. And if he does get out there, if he's been out there. I'm sure there's all types of chaotic things that are happening. You don't want to go there, man. You're stepping into a realm that doesn't belong to you, man. All right. Does not belong to you. That belongs to us, though. This is the book of Psalms 27 and verse 14. Psalms 27 and verse 14, and it reads... Wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. That's what it is. And what's our mind, heart is lob. So with us waiting on the Lord, he's strengthening our minds in these times, man. So when everybody else is going to be losing their minds, wondering what's going on, needing help, we're going to know. We're going to know. Why? Because we've been, we listened, we hearkened, man. We, we hearkened to the words of the Lord, and that's what brought us to the what? To the point of being able to come back to him and, and and realize that what we need him more than ever man these guys need pride a lot of these guys in Israel, you know they, they they need pride man especially the, the guys that's outside of, of 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 the true understanding and the will of Yahweh Shai is not on point man 
They want the world with that. They're trying to mix the world because they haven't fully become a new man. That's why the Lord said you must put on, you must become a new man. It's not you You probably could or you'll be all right if you don't. He said you must put become a new man. You got to be born again. You got to become to a toddler. A baby is unknowing. A baby does not know anything. It's not it's just weak or that it just doesn't know. So that's our mentality is not to go, oh, yeah, let's try to be no. Make yourself of no estate, man. Because guess what? The Lord is just deserving to shine. When you let the Lord shine, he'll shine through you. When you're shining on your own, that means you're reaching out to your own righteousness. You want to establish your own thing. You want to be this thing. No, it ain't about that. We need to just sit here and maintain in the truth, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And praise for Yahweh, Shem Yahshua's mercy, man. All right. This is verse... Um, 14 and it said uh that's it on that so we waiting man we patiently waiting because what happens is that once we get this we're free no more uh, uh, oppression no more because this this society is fueled from your death it's fueled from your death and one in, in in crimes paying they pay taxes paying for these higher crime rates that that are being uh, uh built up like that because of the funding that they're trying to get it's, it's, it's a wide spectrum of, of just us catching hell and people making money. Stems, uh, uh, stem cell research, all those things, man. All right. All those things are, are, are fueled by you, Jake, because you are the commodity. You are the greatest treasure. Because guess what? The Lord said he'll smite the earth with a curse if it wasn't for Israel. So what's good? What's 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 higher level than the earth is is the is the people of the Lord, man. And having us be established on the planet Earth, because guess what? This world was. Made for our sakes. It wasn't made for these heathen's sake. It wasn't made because guess what? They're not taking care of it. Look at India, man. They're shitting in the streets. You think that's what... If if, if Elam ruled, the whole world would look like fucking uh, uh, damn Pakistan, man. Shit on the streets every damn where, man. If that's the, the mentality. Not saying that, but I'm putting it in, the, in context. Their city is 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 polluted, man. And they can do they, but they spend their money on what BS. They'll spend their money on Esau's ways because why? There's a magic with it, man. There's a there's an off, off thing with it. That's why they're pushing that vibration out there, man. Because if you're not under the law, statute, and commandments of Yahweh Shem Yahshua, man, you you the you're not gonna flourish. That's why it says, "He that wandereth out the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead." So you have to have this in your spirit. You have to have the understanding of this is what this is the truth. I believe that I'm an Israelite. I I I I feel that we'll we will be saved from the calamities to come. That's the mentality. Because if you're not investing, you have to invest yourself spiritually and carnally. You can invest carnally, but if you're not investing spiritually, and what's investing spiritually? Trust in Yahweh Shem Yahshua, man. You got to trust, and 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 it's hard in this world, man. But the trust is you got to trust on something that's a sure bet. Bet on the Lord. All right. This is Psalms 37 and verse 7. It says, rest in the Lord. See that? Rest. Not chill. Not, not oh, yeah, you got to rest. You got to, if you lay your head on a pillow, you ain't halfway laying your head. There's not a halfway lay down. You laying down or you're not laying down. There's not a, I'm, I'm, I'm halfway laying down. What? It don't work like that. You either laying down or you're not laying down. So this is the same thing now. All right? Rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who's prospereth in his way, because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. That's what scripture told. So you think they were doing it back then? They were doing it back then, but now we're doing it in a way of what? We're we're crying unto the Lord by the way of the Spirit when we go out there in the highways and the byways, the Mazabak. That's the altar. That's the altar, man. We're going out there, we're presenting our bodies as a living sacrifice, Romans 12 and 1. We're holding, we're holding our, our, our integrity. We're, 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 warning, we're warning Israel. We're feeding the sheep. We're doing everything that the Lord told us to do. So why do you think he wouldn't reward those? And spiritual power is going to be a, a, a essence of, of glory, man. Lord willing. And it says, rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of who a, a prospereth in his way because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. Cease from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in the wise, in, uh, in, in, in thyself in any wise to do evil. 
All right. So don't sit there and, and keep pushing into this world because guess what? This world is certified evil, man. Evil, man. All right. Certified evil. And the mentality is what? Get wait on the Lord because he's going to rise to the praise. Just like I showed you that video. He's going to be fervent with it, man. Fervent with it. Let me get this. Let me see if there's. This is Isaiah. Let's see if it pops up. Let's do that Psalms. Psalms. So just hold on, man. You know, I always, you know, like to go into these, but the mentality of it is now, especially guys coming against this, is nothing new. They came against our Heavenly Father. They came against the Abba Shai. So we're not greater than our, our masters, man. So we just expect to expect the same. We're not gonna go through nothing and then, you know, no. It says for the oppression of the poor. For the singing of the, it says, for the pre, for the oppression, for the oppression of the poor, for the singing of the needy. Now will I rise, saith the Lord, and I will set him in safety from him that puffed at him. And that's what you see these nations doing to us. They're puffing at us. They're they're they're. Oh, these dudes ain't nothing. You know, they're giving us the the side eye, man. But we getting ready to be front. We getting ready to be made on a high level, man, and and produce things on an even high level. Because that's the blessing of Israel, thus saith the Bible, man. So, Lord willing, is that a fine? I'm going to leave it there. I just want to make a quick, you know, video just to, you know, go into that that video I seen earlier. And I just had to touch it because it was, it, I mean, it says magnitudes, man. That that animal is willing to risk hair and hide, man. So, imagine when the Lord gives us that power, Lord willing, you know, and, and, and that power is out here. Because guess what? It's going to be on Esau's ass, man. So, uh, with, again, I would say, call Elohim Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechak Wadash. Say, Barak at the Yahweh, Barak at the Yahweh Shai, Barak at the Yahweh, Barak at the Yahweh Shai, Barak at the Yahweh, Barak at the Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechak Wadash. Until the next time, I say, Shalom, and as always, keep faith. Shalom.